Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in network science, and let's face it, if you watch my channel, you probably are, at least to some degree, you might have already realized that there isn't a lot of choice out there about the material to get you started. So I'm here to save the day, and I have compiled a list of my favorite books about network science. I have divided it in three main parts. Manuals about network science, strictly speaking, those which cover the prerequisites from other fields, such as probability or network science, and popular science books that don't really require those prerequisites at all. I've added video chapters, which you can find in the progress bar down below, so feel free to skip to the ones that you find most interesting and more suitable for your background. But now, let's dive right into it. Let's start with what I'm going to refer to as core network science books. These are comprehensive books on network science, written by people in network science, for people in network science. These are the most complete books of the bunch, and the one to approach for the most comprehensive introduction to the topic, potentially bringing you from zero to hero, or from zero to network scientist, I guess. And the first book on the list is going to be Networks by Mark Newman. Not the most original title, but certainly fitting for the book, because this is the fundamental book for network science, if you ask me. It's technically a textbook, and it has indeed sections that are very dense, but other are surprisingly easy and fun to read. Chapter 1 in particular is the most comprehensive introduction to network science, with loads of examples from multiple applications, historical backgrounds, and tons of other curiosities. The difficulty and the amount of mathematics ramps up fairly quickly after that, but with basic calculus and linear algebra, you would probably have access to 90% of the content of the book, perhaps even more. Next up, I have selected Networks, a very short introduction, by Guido Cardarelli and Michele Catanzaro. This is part of a very short introduction series, which covers everything from biblical archaeology to communism, and from post-structuralism to, well, net. Like the Newman book, it's packed with interesting facts and curious stories of the field, but unlike Newman, it keeps the math at a minimum. Almost non-existent, actually, with few scattered exceptions, and even those mostly in the form of graphs and figure captions. In a way, I would say that the spirit of the two books is the same, using interesting examples to get you hooked in the subject, and then using network science to explain what is going on in the situation. But, if you're only trying out network science for the first time, or if you don't want to commit too much and go for a textbook, this one here is probably the best book for you. Next. So next up, we have Modularity and Dynamics on Complex Networks by Renaud Lambiot and Michael Schau. Now, this book is special to me in two main ways. Firstly, my supervisor is one of the two authors, and he gave me a signed copy with a description even before the book was available to the public. And secondly, the book is fairly closely related to my research topic, as my PhD is loosely focused on network dynamics. Can't think of any way these two things could possibly be correlated anyway. So the scope might not be as big as the previous one, but it's a very solid book for what it covers, which is actually quite a lot for only 77 pages. Not only it explains the relation between communities, modularity, and the dynamical properties in detail, but it's also full of results of computer simulations of significant cases. In fact, I have already used it several times to cross-check that I didn't screw up my simulations, and that the numbers I was getting were checking out with examples from this book here. But realistically, it won't be your first network science book. The short format means that the introduction is not very deep, and while all the concepts are briefly introduced, a lot is assumed familiar, and much of the details of what it used are left out. Fully recommended, but only after one of the previous ones. And finally, we close the core network science section of my list, with Network Science by Albert Laszlo Barabasi. I find this one to be a little bit of an oddball, to be honest. It's available online, for free, and 
Yes, legally, because it was turned into a website. So you can just head there and get a free, high quality taste of network science. I will post a link in the comment section down below if you want to have a look. It costs nothing after all. It's sort of similar to the Newman's book in the sense that it tries to be very comprehensive, but the author perspective emerges much more clearly in this one. It's less impartial than Newman. For example, the first three chapters after the introduction are mostly based on the past work of the author. Make no mistake, Barabasi is an absolute superstar of network science and possibly one of the founding fathers of the subject. His works should absolutely be in every and other network science book. But some of those concepts are quite advanced and I sometimes feel that they have been forced in a little bit too early. Now there isn't necessarily anything wrong with that, but I guess that what I'm trying to say here is that as manuals go, I would personally pick Newman's over Barabasi's. It just feels more natural in how the material progresses and it lays the grounds much more comprehensively instead of skipping to some specific research interest of the author. That being said, if you like Barabasi's work, you might very well prefer this to the point, no nonsense kind of structure over the other, more relaxed one, which, in fairness, takes longer to get to the point. Now, there is a lot of mathematics going on behind the curtains of network science, and that's why this video is sponsored by... <laughs> no, it's not. Of course it's not. Have you seen my subscriber count? But the good news is that you could help me out with that, so I'm gonna pause for two seconds now to give you the time to subscribe. Good. So, a lot of mathematics going on behind the curtains. To cover those basics, I would suggest three books. That's true. Three books. One about graph theory, network science is practically applied graph theory. Another one about Markov chains, extremely useful for network dynamics and probability. And a super useful one about method inspired by theoretical physics. Those are, in that order, Introduction to Graph Theory by Robin Wilson, Mark of Chains by James Norris, and Information, Physics and Computation by Marc Messar and Andrea Montanari. Now, the first two books are classical manuals about their respective subject. The reason I listed those two is because they are the ones I have, the ones I used in my courses, and yeah, I quite like them and I found them clear and useful. But you can easily swap them out for any other book you like in the same subject. After all, the topics discussed in those courses are by no means cutting edge anymore, nor for the last century or so. So the difference between different manuals will be very minimal. On the other hand, information, physics and computation is a whole other story. It's a brilliant one-of-a-kind book covering how certain advanced topics in theoretical physics, and specifically statistical mechanics, have been ported over to probability, computer science and complex systems at large. I hold this book very dearly because it's based on the same path I took when I transitioned from statistical mechanics over to network science. But it's a fairly advanced book that you will need quite a lot of prerequisite for. And because it's so multidisciplinary, you will need quite a lot of prerequisites in quite a lot of subjects. Physics, computer science and probability. So unless you're already at graduate level in at least one of these subjects, it's probably not the best book for you, I'm sorry. And finally, let's turn down the difficulty dial and let's have a look at some non-specialist books. These are easy reads, perhaps not quite bedtime stories, but definitely more accessible and still very thorough in what they cover. They skip the most mathematical parts and instead rely more on the conceptual sides of things to keep the reading enjoyable for the general public. So the first one is Linked, The New Science of Networks by Albert Laszlo Barabasi again. This is a true popular science book for network science, covering the most important concept and the most curious aspects. But if you're more into biology and biological networks, you can have a look at The Web of Life, A New Scientific Understanding of Living System by Friti of Capra. It's a little bit dated now, as it came out in 1996, but it doesn't really matter for a non-technical book, because while there has been a lot of progress in the field, none of it has had a groundbreaking effect on the fundamentals that this book covers. And finally, 
If you're not much into reading and prefer videos, you could check out my short series Network Science in One Minute here on my channel or on my Instagram account, which you can find at this handle here. I hope some of the books in the list have piqued your interest and I'll link a few more resources in the video description. Also let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions to add to my list and please consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this coming out twice a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. Until next Sunday, goodbye!